let's take a look at five key elements of the Batwing. This move requires a high degree of mobility and strength in spinal rotation. In the Broken Doll, our chest is facing to the side and our hips are pretty much facing the ceiling. When we release the top leg, we then need to control the rotation of our hips to face the same way as our chest. Our external and internal obliques are the main drivers of this movement. Then to hold our body parallel to the floor in the Batwing position, which is essentially an elbow demon of a human flag variation, we need a lot of anti-lateral flexion strength in our core. In the Batwing, the pole runs across our mid-back, so we need strength and mobility, particularly in thoracic extension, to create space for the pole and engagement around that contact point. Our erector spinae muscles are the main muscles creating this extension. Our arms are in a small degree of extension with the elbows slightly behind us and we've got some serious isometric bicep engagement keeping our arms bent around the pole. We're pronating our forearms to place our hands on our thighs. Finally, our hip abductor muscles are working hard to keep our legs in this wide straddle as well as our quads which are keeping our legs nice and straight.